the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Spirit of the living God, you are the teacher of teachers. We come before you today, O Holy Spirit. Teach us. Grant us the knowledge of the things of God. We pray that you speak to us today your word of love, your word of life, your word of truth. And teach us to be attentive to your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you have your Bible there, just open to the first uh, book of St. John, chapter 4, verse 1. First John, chapter 4, verse 1. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits. But test the spirits. Test the spirits to see whether they are from God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Today, the Holy Spirit wants us to understand and pray for the gift of discernment. So we are reflecting on the gift of discernment. Discernment is a very important spiritual gift in the life of every Christian. Discernment is sometimes called the discernment of spirits or distinguishing between spirits, as we have in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. In Greek, it is diakrisis. It is from diakrino, which means to separate thoroughly. So discernment describes being able to distinguish, to judge or appraise a person, a statement, a situation, or an environment. Amen. In homilies, we often refer to discernment. Oh, we need to pray for discernment. Oh, we need discernment. But many of us don't know what this gift is. Many of us don't know how it operates and how to grow in it. What is the gift of discernment? Discernment is that gift of the Holy Spirit that helps us to recognize if something is truly from God or from the flesh, or from the devil. Discernment helps us to be able to differentiate between what is from the Holy Spirit and what is from the evil spirit. So if you like, it is a spiritual insight, a divine intuition, an inner guide, a supernatural perception, the gift of spiritual clarity. Why do we need discernment? Oh yes, we all need discernment. Because discernment helps us to clearly identify what is from the Holy Spirit and what is simply our own imagination and thoughts. It helps us to identify the source of the voice within and the voice from without. Maybe sometimes you just hear something, you, you, you hear this voice telling you, give him. Tell him, don't say this. Call him, don't do this, do that. These suggestions from within, you don't know, you're confusing this. Could this be my thought? Could this be from the Holy Spirit? How many of us find ourselves in that situation? How many of us still confuse our thoughts and ideas? I tell you something, it is possible to distinguish thoughts, to know where, which thought is coming from. That is the gift of the same Also, the voice we hear, the voice that comes to us from outside, with the gift of the same we are able to know which one is actually from God. It is not all good advice that are from God. Am I speaking to somebody? It is not all good advice that are from God. In Matthew chapter 16 from verse 21 to 23, Peter gave Jesus a very good advice. No, this should not happen to you. No, you are not going to suffer. But Jesus looked beyond and he saw the person behind that voice. And he spoke, get behind me, Satan. But you, because you are not on the side of God. So the voice of the devil can speak. Even through somebody that we know, somebody we love, somebody we trust, we need the gift of discernment. Discernment leads us to make right judgment as to what is the will of God. 
we're able to make the right judgment as to what is the will of God. That's what Romans chapter 12 verse 2 tells us, so that you may know what is acceptable, what is perfect, what is the will of God. And I know this is the concern of many of us. Lord, is this your will for me? I want to know your will. Teach me your ways. Where, Which direction are you leading me? I pray for somebody listening to me today. The Lord will bestow upon you the gift of discernment so that you will know that which is the will of God in Jesus' name. There are problems that we, 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 we don't know whether I should use my faith to pray that the Lord should put this to an end or I should just accept my faith. There are different crosses in our lives. We don't know which one is from God, which one is self-imposed, which one is by the malice of others. So the sermon helps us to distinguish between crosses, to know that which is from God and that which is not from God. And that's why with the sermon we're able to pray well according to the mind of God. The sermon is spiritual perception. Yes, it is spiritual perception. It helps us to see what God is doing in our lives. So even when you are going through something, when you're able to understand this is the will of God, this is what God is doing for me, you're able to praise God in the process. Amen. You're able to praise God in the process because you can understand what God is doing in your life through discernment. Discernment helps us to separate truth from falsehood, false teaching, and doctrine. Once you hear something, the Spirit tells you, this is not true. This is not from God. That is discernment. It helps us to make the right judgment between what is good and what is evil because sometimes they look very confusing. And that's why St. Paul tells us in his first letter to the Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 21, but test all things, hold fast to what is good. Discernment is like a, it's a spiritual or supernatural insight that helps us to see things for what they are. Oftentimes, appearances can be deceptive. Things are not usually what they look like. Discernment helps us to see what is going on behind the scene, the reality behind the appearance. When Peter, when Peter spoke, Jesus pulled back the curtain and saw the real man behind it. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14 tells us that even the devil disguises as an angel of light. With discernment, sometimes the Lord leads us to understand the motivation behind an action. <laughs> when someone is doing something, the Holy Spirit tells you, be careful, beware of that. That action that looks good, beware, be careful. Amen. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? The Holy Spirit senses, it detects, it sends signal that something is not quite right. You may not be able to identify what it is, but the Holy Spirit warns you. And so I call discernment God's protective signal, a warning sign. Sometimes he warns us of people around us. The presence of this person in your life won't help you. The Spirit detects and it tells us. Most times we just wave this aside only for us to regret later. Amen. Amen. Sometimes the Spirit warns you about a particular person. The, this person's presence in your life is not going to help you. You say, no, I'm being fastidious. Sometimes you even go to confession and you, 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 you confess, you accuse yourself of being critical, of being intolerant or judgmental. But it's not true. It is the Spirit telling you something. Amen. A friend comes around your spirit is troubled. You have this business proposal. Your spirit is troubled. It could be the Holy Spirit telling you something. It is not everybody who extends a hand of friendship to you who is a friend. It is not all kisses that are signs of love. Amen. Am I speaking to you? Sometimes the hand we touch is the hand of his soul. But the Spirit says, listen to the voice. It is the voice of Jacob. Without discernment, we are spiritually blind. We are extremely vulnerable. We are liable to make mistakes and errors. Our lives will be full of regrets. We may begin to lay hands on many unsuccessful projects because they are not from God. How do I grow in discernment? It is a gift, so pray for it. 
Pray for it. Ponder on it. And ask God in faith. God is pleased when we ask in faith for discernment. Have an attitude of surrender. Be willing to surrender to God's will. When God sees that willingness to surrender, okay, it disposes us to receive the gift of discernment. Willfulness negates discernment. Don't rush to take any decision. Cultivate the habit of asking God. Involve God. Let it be God and you. Make prayer your first response. Be in touch with the Holy Spirit, the giver of discernment. And have spiritual support. Pray with people who have the gift of prayers, the gift of prophecy, wisdom, understanding. You can, you, we're able to discern more in the company of other people, you know, with the Spirit of God. They help us through that process of discernment. And we need to keep studying the Word of God. Because the more we study the Word of God, He gives us a discerning heart. But most importantly, intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth. We need to be attentive to Him. Holy Spirit, we surrender to you as we pray today for the gift of discernment. Help us to be able to discern that which is from you and that which is not from you. Help us to know the will of God and to accept the will of God. And save us from mistakes that are costly and can lead to regrets. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.